dusty rolling. I think my voice is on the right. I sit up the middle. It's kind of driving me crazy. I feel like I'm standing beside myself. Anyways, all right, let's continue. 1962 Gibson ES350 TDN. I know what a lot of you are saying. That looks like a Birdland with a Y. But it's not a Birdland because the Birdland had a spruce top and this has a maple top and it's got a beautiful maple top, man. It's got some nice figures on it. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> All right. Um, there's only 62 of these ever made between 1961 and 1963. It's got two patent, not patent, not PAF like patent applied for, but this is after. 
uh, the patent applied for. This is when they actually had the patent numbers. And uh, it's, like I said, a crazy flame top. And uh, it's like a less fancy version of the Birdland. Like the Birdland had more fancy stuff on it. I just said the same thing twice in two different ways. Um, what else? Uh, yes. And you know what else, guys? And girls? And dogs? Uh, I got to play Terrible Ted Nugent on this stuff, man. I really do, because it's, uh, it's an amazing sounding guitar. But if you don't mind me, I'm going to tell a little story. Uh, Derek St. Holmes. Anybody know who Derek St. Holmes is? Well, you do. You just don't know it. Because when you hear this song... <laughs> And when you hear that guy singing, hey, I come on, give now, baby. That's Derek St. Holmes. Derek St. Holmes, the magical voice behind Ted Nugent's awesomeness. Yes. So he sang that. He sang all, all, a whole bunch of songs. But uh, um, this is where the story's going. Derek St. Holmes and me and a whole bunch of other guys and girls are in a documentary called Hired Gun that's coming out soon. And um, so... Uh, they got a whole bunch of us into a studio and we started jamming and doing stuff. So Derek St. Holmes is like, hey, I want to do uh, just what the doctor ordered uh, by Ted Nugent and, uh, and him. And I put my hand up and said, I got to do that. And here's the thing, man. Music is so amazing and powerful that it makes you time travel. I went back in time. I was, we started playing the song and he started singing and I was 11 in my dad's basement with my first second-hand Strat jamming to Double Live Gonzo. And T Derek St. Holmes is like, he just took me back in time. And he sounds like better than he did then. He sounds amazing. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to give you a little taste because some people are like, I don't know that guy and I don't know that song. But you do know that guy and you might not know this song, but maybe let's check it out. By the way, I'm plugged into, I'm plugged into a Dr. Z Carmen Ghia. Like the car. All right. Travel pickup. <laughs> Okay, now here's the thing. <laughs> I ain't no Derek St. Holmes because he sounds amazing. And I totally screwed up the guitar part when I started singing because I haven't done it since I was 11. And then I screwed up the lyrics because for the same reason. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's, uh, and then you got the. <laughs> I'll tell you something else that's different about this guitar and the Birdland. You can't shake it, man. We're gonna do uh, Great White Buffalo super fast. Well, listen, everybody, to what I gotta say. It's all for tomorrow. We'll be looking out today. Real. <laughs> all right, thanks, Ted, for all those wonderful memories. And obviously, Derek St. Holmes. Um, let me tune. Because this thing moves. This thing here moves. I get excited. And it's like, you know, you get excited and you get blood flow and some parts start doing things. <laughs> well, that's what's happening with the bridge. I get excited and it starts moving around. Damn it. Hey, man, I'm in the Tone Master. Here's the thing. You guys got to remember stuff like this. Stuff like uh, this guitar plugged into the Tone Master. This, like, this got way lower output pickups, so it doesn't sound anywhere close to like the Les Paul did earlier in an earlier video. And... Uh, that's why it's, it's a little less rocky, 
because it's not really a rocky guitar. I'll rock on anything. I don't give a shit. But uh, it's not, you know, I mean. I could do stuff like. Uh, I'm making the stink face. I'm making the, what, what the what's that smell face? I wish I could play jazz. I'm getting a pedal made actually. I talked to some pedal companies and they're like, hey, if you have an overdrive pedal, what do you want to call it? I want to call it the Phil X Jazz Overdrive. <laughs> Woo! Isn't that awesome? I think I think it'll I think it'll be a smash. Anyways, I'm doing that a lot today. I'm gonna go into the middle position and do something like a... That didn't make any sense whatsoever. I was E minor and then I went to E major. So let's try something else. Like a... Walk down the street and I... Did we order lunch yet? That's part of the song. All right, let's 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 have some fun, man. We're going into let's back get back into the Dr. C and an overdrive pedal and do uh, do something like. Uh... <laughs> Not really. What the hell is going on here, man? Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh... Every time I sing, moves like crazy. Right now, when? <laughs> All right. <Yeah! laughs> All right, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Woo! All right, man. 1962 Gibson ES350 TDN. Thank you very much. Have a kick ass day! That was terrible. My shot was awful. <laughs>